Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about the percent proportion. Uh, I'm going to give you a really cool uh, proportion that you can use to solve uh, percent problems. So let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, this is going to be the proportion I personally use. There are different proportions out there you may use. I uh, learned this a while back and it has uh, worked really well for me. It is is over of equals percent over 100. If you use this proportion, you're going to find that these problems are going to be very easy for you to solve. Let's go ahead and try a few of these uh, problems right now. Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, 3 is what percent? 3 is what percent? A 15. The great thing is, it does not matter what problem you're doing, if it deals with percents, uh, you can use this proportion and you will have success with it. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to start off by writing the proportion. Um, is over of equals percent over 100. Now, you don't necessarily have to write this proportion down, you know, to begin with, but if you want to, to get comfortable, I uh, recommend it. Uh, let's go ahead and fill in what we know. Well, the 100 is our one constant. It's always going to be 100, no matter what. So you know it's going to be 100. And the percent, it's easy to, uh, to find because you're going to look for a percent sign in the problem. If you don't find a percent sign, then the percent will be our x value, our n value. I'll, I'll use x. So we don't have a percent, therefore it is x. It's saying what percent. Then you're going to look at this. It says 3 is. 3 is what? I don't know. We're going to put the 3 where the is would be for the proportion. And then finally you have of 15. Of what number? Of 15. So 15 goes down here. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, cross multiply. So we're going to do 15 times x. And you always want to multiply up and over. So we're going to do 15 times x is 15x equals 3 times 100 is 300. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to divide both sides by uh, 15 because um, we want to get x by itself and we have to get rid of the 15. So we're going to divide it by 15, divide this by 15, cancel it out, and we're going to go ahead and realize x equals 20. Now, in the problem, it's asking what percent, therefore the answer must be 20 percent. So x in this case is 20 percent. So here's an example of a problem where you are trying to find the percent of a number. Let's go ahead and try another problem here. Hopefully that made uh, some sense to you. Okay, for our next problem, we're going to do uh, what is 15 percent of 60? What is 15 percent of 60? Okay, this time I'm not going to write the uh, proportion uh, down, you know, the, the formula. The formula, what you do is you write it on the top of your page and you just refer to it. I'm going to go ahead and write a blank proportion here. I'm going to fill in the blank. So my 100, again, it is the constant. You always keep it there as 100. Do I see a percent sign? I do see one. It's right here, 15 percent. So I'm just going to write 15. And you can write it this way because it's 15 out of 100. That's what 15 percent, 15 per 100 means. Uh, what is? I don't know what is. We don't know what uh, is is. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put an X there. And that means of 60 will be right here because that's where the of goes. That makes sense. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and cross multiply. 100 times X is 100X. And then we're going to do 60 times 15. And uh, if you want to do that to the side, you can. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we'll write down... Uh, uh, 15 times, I do that my, this way, times 60. I'm going to bring my 0 down. I'm going to get my 30. And 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. So this is 900. I'm going to say this equals 900. Okay, now I have to divide. So I'm going to go ahead and divide 100x by 100. And 900 by 100. And I end up getting x equals, these cross out, I end up getting 9, and it's not a percent, it's just a number, so x equals 9. 
Hopefully that made sense to you. That is when we are going to try to find a percent of a number. We're given the percent. We're trying to find, find out what that number is. Um, let me move this over here. All right. We'll do one more example, and hopefully uh, that will be enough to uh, help you understand how to do these percent problems. On our last percent problem, let's see. We've done one where we have been given the... Um, is and the of. We've had a problem where we were given the percent and the of. So let's try to find one where we're trying to find the of. Okay. So uh, how about we do this? Um, 95 is, so number three, 95 is 95 percent of what number? Alright, 95 is 95 percent of what number? Okay, so in this problem, we're going to go ahead and start off by uh, putting in our uh, proportion. I'm going to put a blank one here. And I'm going to have uh, uh, the 100 goes down first, because again, it's the constant. Uh, do I have a percent in here? I do. It's 95 percent. So I'm going to put the 95 over here. And then I have 95 is, the is, as you can see, is on the uh, top left-hand side of the proportion. So I'm going to put a 95 here. And of what? Well, I don't know, so I'm going to put an x right here. So now I can go ahead and cross-multiply. Again, you're going to cross-multiply up and over, always up and over when you're cross-multiplying. I'm going to get 95 x, and then uh, 95 times uh, 100. Uh, you can just go ahead and put 95 hundreds, so 95 hundred. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 95. So I'll divide this by 95. Oops. I'm going to divide this by 95. And this side by 95. And um, when I divide 95, or 9,500 divided by uh, 95, I'm going to get 100%, or 100 that is, and then x is over here. So in this case, 95 is 95% 95 of what number? Well, in this case, the number is 100. Um, I'm hoping this helps you understand how to do the percent proportion. I appreciate you stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful day.